Hi guys, I am getting ready. Um, actually, just got out of the shower, getting ready to uh, dry my hair, fix that. I have a um, um, yo-yo class that I'll be teaching tonight for my yo-yo quilts, and I have everything packed up here. Show you real quick a few things. I have my planner. Um, the lady contacted me earlier and said that uh, uh, she wanted to talk to me about a couple more dates for some classes, so I have that. Um, I have several samples. Uh, this is some kits that we will be working on. This is step-by-step -step things here. Of course, this is the little my camera. This is uh, my little basket that I uh, use as I go. What I usually do is um, we'll have a discussion. I'll go over the little uh, pamphlet that I pass out, which is all in this. And then they get a kit to make nine of these yo-yos. Um, and I will discuss all of that. Um, and then we will come up, they will come up and look at all of my examples and samples that I have. And I have a couple yo-yo quilts there. Uh, some other samples of different things to do with the yo-yos. And... Then they all gather around and I do a demonstration on exactly how to make the yo-yos. And then they uh, take their seats and the, their little kits and they work on making their own. And then I usually uh, take this basket. Yes, I have my tic Um I take my little basket and I walk around to each one individually and um, see if they need any help and kind of work with everyone one-on-one. -on -one. And... This class, I don't know exactly how many will be there, but it, um, we had a lot of interest in this one. This is the first yo-yo class. The others were the uh, Hexagon Grandmother Flower Garden, and they've all went really well, and I hope to have some more of those uh, in the future, too. But um, uh, this one filled up really fast, and there's usually a few more that show up than uh, what we initially think. Sometimes there's a few less, but it's going to be a full class, and I'm very excited, so I'll check in with you when I get back, let you know how it went. Hi, guys. Um, I have everything ready to go, and Hunter's going with me, and he's going to be my helper and help me set up the tables and my display and all that. And I had to bribe him, so I promised him pizza, so... Um, I already have that called in and that'll be ready by the time we get done with our class and um, yeah I am very excited so I will let you know how it goes and I may take the camera with me I may not actually film the class but I uh, may film like the display and um, you know a few things like that and also um, if I can remember I need to tell you about a very important um, phone call I got a few minutes ago so I'll see you in a bit hi guys um, it is 11 uh, about a quarter to 11 and uh, I'm back I've been back for um, I got back home about 8 30 20 to 9 something like that from the uh, my yo-yo class that I was teaching this evening Whew, let me fool you in a little bit about that um, the class was supposed to start at 6. I was running a little bit behind. I got there at a quarter to till. And, uh, the class was being held at, uh, the Senior Citizen Building in town. And, um, I got there, pulled in, and the parking lot was completely full. And I started to panic. I thought, oh gosh, please tell me not all those people are here for this class. And it wasn't, so, um, I, and I saw pink balloons down there at one of the doors going in the building, and I thought, what in the world? So, Hunter was with me, my son. I told him, I said, wait right here, and let me go in and see what's going on. So, I, got, I get in there, and uh, the people, um, I work with the Community of Sharing Program, and they sponsor my quilt classes. And basically, they're free to the public, but the Community of Sharing Program pays me so much per person that attends my class. And it's, you know, funded, you know, they have 
funding and all that. But anyway, I get in there and they're in a panic because the place had been double booked. And so they were having a big, huge party in the, you know, big place where I was supposed to have the class. And uh, so I ended up having to teach this yo-yo class in the hallway. And actually there's like a little entry area and then the, the part of the hallway. And it was horrible. <laughs> I mean, we got it done and uh, everybody that showed up for the class, you know, they understood that it wasn't my fault. It wasn't the community of sharing people's fault. It was just something that happened and I was stressed. I'll just tell you, I was stressed. But uh, you couldn't move. Um, I was trying to go, um, you know, around the tables to, to teach these people individually and people were having to get up until I could get through. And it was just, it was... <clears throat> It was bad, but we made it work. And um, I think everybody pretty much enjoyed the class. Um, it was a few people that had taken the hexagon classes that I taught before. And they actually liked the hexagons better than the um, yo-yos. But, you know, it, it went fine. And everybody enjoyed it. <coughs> and um, it is what it is. It's over. Um, I will be having some more in the future, so I'm excited about that. But let me show, tell you this. Um, when the class was getting started, I was totally surprised. I had no idea. <clears throat> and uh, the community sharing program, they have this thing where they award people in the community, um, you know, for things that they do. And so, here's my award, my certificate. I don't know if you can see. Um, but it says a certificate of uh, appreciation Kentucky community of sharing presented to Christy Lane we would like to present you with this token of our appreciation for being an outstanding citizen in your community thank you for all that you do um, so yeah I was about to get choked up I'll be honest I was not expecting that and I really really appreciate it and especially after the evening that I was having yes I, yes very very happy and uh, they did um, a little article that they wrote up it's on Facebook. Uh, we'll probably, I'll leave a link to it down below. It tells a little bit about my quilting history and things I do with my family and, you know, a little more private things about me, I guess. And um, so, yeah, I was very pleased. Uh, it kind of put a happy ending, I guess, on a stressful situation. But anyway, Leo. He's killed me. That's our boxer over here. But, um, and we'll be having more classes in the future. I don't have those scheduled yet, but we're working on that. Um, I didn't really get any pictures uh, or video of the class tonight. It was, like I said, as soon as I got there, it was just a hectic situation of trying to figure out what I was going to do, moving tables here, and there was no room, and I just couldn't get anything. Um, they did take a picture of... Uh, of me holding up my little certificate and um, uh, it does show um, you can see like my yo-yo quilt stuff like that on the table um, I will probably try to insert that picture uh, in the end of this video but uh, so you can see some of the yo-yos and stuff but anyway it went well I guess in the end and I picked up pizza like I said for Hunter which worked out well because of the time I got home, um, I had about 15 minutes for Richard to eat and get in the bed because he has to get up at 4.15 in the morning for work. So, And we do it all over again. Um, also, um, I'll make this quick. Earlier, I mentioned about a phone call that I got today. Uh, this past, past Sunday, we lost our assistant pastor. He passed away. He'd been really sick for a little for a while, and uh, he passed away. And he's a very good man. Uh, meant a lot to a lot of people in this community and for counties around. <coughs> and uh, I've known the man my whole life. Um, grew up with his kids, you know. He grew up with my parents. Just you know, known him um, for forever. And um, anyway. Uh, his funeral was Wednesday. The funeral home said it, 
that was the most people that they had ever had at a funeral or viewing. It was just packed elbow to elbow. I mean, it was just, and they were parked for as far as you could see. You, the cars were parked. <clears throat> but anyway, I got a call this um, this evening from uh, his daughter-in-law that I also go to church with and uh, good friends with, and uh, asked me about uh, taking some of his shirts and making uh, pillows for the grandkids and a quilt for his wife. So um, they're going to gather the shirts up and I'm going to make the pillows. I really don't know. I don't remember how many grandchildren he has. I'd have to count them, but there's probably, gosh, 10 or 12, I would think. Maybe more. I don't know. Uh, and then, like I said, a... Uh, quilt for his wife, and um, they went, he was um, in the Marine Corps, him and my husband talk about that all the time, because <clears throat> my husband was in the Marine Corps as well, but uh, they want to take one of the, his Marine Corps t-shirts, I think, and probably put it in the center, center of the quilt, and then his other shirts, and you know, I'll make a quilt somehow out of that for her, but she doesn't know about that yet, and I think they're going to surprise her, but um, um, yeah, I, I'll be honest, it's going to be emotional for me to to uh, be working on that quilt. <coughs> so, that being said, <clears throat> um, Amy, I guess, will get those shirts to me soon, and I'll get started on that, and I'm not, uh, I'm not charging them to make it. Um, we discussed, you know, like the batting or backing or whatever. You know, they're going to buy that. Um, you know, but for my services, my quilting services and piecing and all that, I'm not going to charge. I just don't feel right. I mean, like I said, he was a very important man to to us as well. Yeah, Leo just <laughs> Leo just ate a wasper, and I think a wasp. Yeah, he just ate a wasp and it stung him. But anyway, that's that's all for tonight, I guess, and. Uh, I'm going to try to wind down a little bit and um, get in the bed. Uh, like I said, I'm going to get Richard up at about 4.15. So. And hopefully I will talk to you all tomorrow.